Formative assessment is a process used by teachers and students during instruction that provides feedback to adjust ongoing teaching and learning to help students improve their achievement of intended instructional outcomes. An important component is the ongoing process of eliciting evidence of student understanding. This quote from Dylan William reiterates the importance of assessment for learning. He states that assessment is the bridge between teaching and learning. It is only through assessment that we can find out whether what has happened in the classroom has produced the learning we intended. Basically, assessment is a way to gather evidence in order to inform next steps in instruction to be sure the learning goal is met. It is also important to remember that assessment is not an isolated event that happens at the end of teaching. Rather, it is essential to gather evidence of understanding throughout the learning experience to identify the changes in understanding over time. A critical element of this process is identifying the learning goal. What should students learn, and how will you and the students know they have learned it? In other words, what is the destination, and how will you know if you have reached it? Within the WCPS Essential Curriculum, these can be identified in Stages 1 and 2. Stage 1 communicates the desired results as acquisition, meaning, and transfer goals. The meaning section provides a list of understandings and essential questions. These are helpful when identifying the learning goals for an upcoming instructional unit. The questions can be asked of students multiple times within instruction with the goal of students coming to their own understanding while also giving the teacher evidence of where they are in progress towards the learning goals. Stage 2 provides a variety of assessments that can be used throughout the learning process for collecting evidence of learning. Teachers across Washington County have developed or found valuable assessments aligned to the Stage 1 goals. When understanding is our goal, we need evidence that students have successfully made meaning of the content. Therefore, it is important to give students opportunities to transfer their learning to new tasks, as opposed to merely recalling something the teacher or text said. In the formative assessment process, we are collecting a photo album of assessments that share the story of understanding across time rather than one snapshot that identifies achievement at one moment in time. Daily instruction leads students down the learning path towards understanding, the final destination or learning goal, while teachers and students collect evidence of understanding along the way. In this short video, Dylan William clearly articulates the importance of collecting ongoing evidence of understanding throughout instruction within the formative assessment process. To me, formative assessment uh, describes all those processes by which teachers and learners use information about student achievement to make adjustments to the student's learning that improve their achievement. So it's about, it's about using the information to adapt your teaching and adapt the work of the students to put the learning back on track, if you like, to make sure that the learning is proceeding in the right direction and to support that learning. So it's, it's, it's what happens when you don't just lecture students and rattle through the material until you get to the end and ask them if they've understood it okay. It's constantly making that, the, those adjustments. One of the ways I like to talk about it is just imagine what would happen if a pilot flew like many teachers assess. So I flew back from Seattle a few a few weeks ago. Um, just imagine what the pilot would have done. He would have flown east for nine hours and then after nine hours he says it's time to land. So he, he'll put the plane down and he'll ask is this London? And of course even if it's not London he says well everybody's got to get off because I've got to get onto the new onto the next journey. And that's exactly the way that we've assessed in the past. We teach students material and at the end of that teaching we find out if they've learned it or not, and if they haven't, we say, too bad, because we're on to the next unit. So what formative assessment does is encourages teachers to take constant readings about where students are, just in the same way that a pilot takes constant readings about their position. And if the learning isn't proceeding as you'd planned, then you make adjustments. That's the essence, to me, of formative assessment. So the reason I think that formative assessment is the right focus is because assessment is the bridge between teaching and learning. 
It's only through assessment of some kind that you know whether what has been taught has been learned. And that's why I think this focus on this assessment process, minute by minute and day by day, not at the end of a sequence of learning, minute and minute and day by day, allows teachers to reflect on their practice and make small steps in improving that practice in a more powerful way than anything we've seen before.